Cheers, John. Fantastic. Welcome to the program, sir. How are you doing this fine evening? Yes. Frosty and delicious. Whoa, bears. Probably a little late in the season for that, but uh, cheers. <sighs> All right. So, Stone of the Week, Adventure Read. Hey, Gromies homies. Hi, hi. Hello. Gromies and John, I'm sharing my stream in my own Discord. That way I will know. Not a whole lot of people in Discord, but there are a very, are very few, a very select few people in Discord who are very, very worthy, worthwhile viewers and chatters, and I care about them very much. So we have shared the stream in Discord. In my Discord. Let's invite you to the Discord. That way, you can join the Discord too. Blink, blue. Hey, Page Farms is here. I need to send you a camera, huh? Page, dude, that man, I freaking. So it's a, it's it's totally a thing too, because like, Farah even said she would buy me a camera, and I okay. So I I tried to explain it and to myself as well as everyone else. I almost bought a camera, like a cheap nine dollar eight ninety nine. You know, I got the phone. I could do Hangouts. I thought a webcam would ease up my data usage on the the network, and I'd I'd be I'd, you know I'd be more likely to have a smooth stream. That's why I'm on so late. I used to do my show at nine p.m. Eastern. But I kept having network problems as well as competition with larger entertainment venues like the Super Bowl, which I'm going to have to contend with again pretty soon, and uh, the Oscar Awards or uh, Golden Globes or something like that, and some big finale of an HBO series. It's a it's a it's a popular time. I just so happened to have originally picked a very popular time, and that's why we can do this, if it's the correct comment. Anyway, I've been... Whoa, that's really loud. we got to quiet that down sometime. So, anyway... Yeah. <laughs> um, the, uh... And it was distracting. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that right now. I'm going to even show you guys how I do it. Like magic, except for it's in reality. Do 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 shaping adventuring do do That's the uh shaping adventuring song. That one? No. That one? No. That one? No. That one. Yes. El yes Motron. Saw a video done, and I'm not even done with the thing. So, yeah, I, I was shopping for a, a camera, and I was like, okay, you know what? I don't know what to pick, because there's, like, autofocus, and there's fixed focus, and there's, you know, ones with options, and I didn't want to spend too much since I didn't know what I was getting, and so I was like, all right, we'll go with a brand name. I got the brand name. It's a Logitech brand, and it's like a $25 cam. It did and eighteen ninety or seventeen ninety nine eighteen dollars. I snagged it, and uh, it might have been a return for damage or something like that. I don't know, but it, it's supposed to be new. Works some of the times. There we go. You can look at this piece of diopside. We'll get into the adventuring shortly. But I'm trying to fix this magic command. So now you can see where I'm going, roughly. Events. Commands. Is there a commands? There is a commands. Hey, we can enter uh, 
exclamation point Alexa, OMG, Rope, Vacuum, and Trendy Club, which reminds me, we'll edit Trendy Club. Right, we edited everyone's sound except for the command sound. It's the only one that has a sound on it. The weird thing is I can't adjust the volume of the thing or sound. The sound files? Gems, right? Yeah, there we go. I can adjust it in gems right there. Adjust Motron, 9000. Oh, wow, we can actually go up with the volume. Now, that's cool-ish at times. Submit. Yay. Let's do that, too. We'll edit, we'll edit the claps while we're in there. You know we got the claps. It's just being honest. <laughs> Not those kind of claps. Okay. We got the, the where people put their hands together. That kind of stuff. What did I miss? I got the app, but I haven't used it. I need to send you an app for Discord. I need to send you a camera. I got the app. Okay, Discord. I got the app. Haven't got. Right. Page. It's just a... It's where, um, okay, so basically, you know, how people are like, don't talk about that in the chats, or, you know, whatever, whatever, uh, like, you know, politics or, uh, bad humor or whatever, not necessarily that it's okay, but that it, it gets shoved into the Discord, that's why it's called Discord. Like all the, the discussions and stuff, just, just don't keep it off the channel. Take it over to the Discord. But really, all that I do on my Discord is post things. And then I got some funny people who post some funny memes on there. So if you want to see some funny memes, you can check out my Discord. That uh, invite is, is uh, valid for one day. Welcome to the Discord. And I'll probably throw it up again next week. I appreciate that, Gromies, homies. It can be tough work some days. And that's pr probably a reply to, thanks, Page Farms, right back at you ten times. Far farm life ain't easy. No, there's a lot of, like, reality involved with farm life. You have to get up and move molecules. Oh, my word, moving molecules. It is so much like moving these molecules to my lips so I can drink them. That reminds me of the movie Idiocracy. I was having an Idiocracy-esque moment, and I couldn't think of the name of the movie. Idiocracy in the movie. The advertisement is extra big-ass fries. Now with more molecules. Because that's what you want, right? Volume. <clears throat> Give me volume over quality. I appreciate that. It can be worked. It can be, but Paige, man, I gotta say, them uh, combine tractors are getting pretty cushy these days. It's it's just all the extra work that's involved. I mean, the maintenance, the keeping track of stuff. You got, I mean, you got fields. You got all the problems that can come up and can cost you thousands and thousands and thousands upon thousands and thousands of dollars. It's a, it's an interesting life, that's for sure. I've done a little bit of the, the farm-related work myself. I think we've talked about that. Uh, let's see, what did I miss? I have some diamonds that need grind on. They are too big for my teeth grill. Ah, nice. Ground on. Grind, yeah. Ground so you can grin. If you grind them, then you can grin on them. You grind on them, then you grin on them. And that's what you can do. For my teeth grill. <clears throat> Let's see. I wanted to pass some awesomeness from Streamlabs. Yeah, Streamlabs is awesome. If you want, like, the chat bots to talk to each other, type exclamation point chat. What is the other one? This was something funny while Chris was in the chatses. Commands reality like waking up yep oh man good old waking up 
I like having energy when I wake up and I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's do it. Ah. Oh, yeah, I, look, I got it because we're talking about the stone of the week. I got to show you the stone of the week. I'm also getting kind of self-conscious about the show's time, unfortunately. I've been, man, I have been nailing it. I got like spot on 50 minutes to one hour in all of my last 10 shows, just by accident. Usually I'm trying to drag it out a little bit. <laughs> I can't talk for that long. It's so long of talking. But I love you guys. You're great. Just like this adventuring stone. If I had the camera, I could make sure I was showing you the right thing. There we go. Oh, we should probably showing be showing the video of said piece. There we go. Yep, there's the video of it after the saw. So if you saw what I saw, then you can see what I what I saw, and then this is what it became. So that's the one up in the picture. It's a nice, I, I like it as a unique piece, you know, it could be, if I had like four of them, it could be like piece accent pieces in a crown or something like that, and then you'd have like the, hold on, you guys are going to get a kick out of this. Check this out. The big crown jewel, right? Which way should I have it? This way? Or should it be this way? What do you think? big part on the bottom It'd be like 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 something like that in a crown or big part on the top what do you think six freaking huge man the camera's like wow don't get that too close to me I'm, I, I'm not worthy <laughs> I definitely need to get a cam hashtag glitch cam we should make that a command. Let's do that right now while we got the thing up. Then you can see it happen. Okay. We're going to add a command. Plus. Exclamation point. Or no. Hashtag glitch cam. And everyone can use it. And it will say, when are you getting a new camera, comma, Jacob, question mark. There we go. That's how that works. And then we go. Auto spell, Dagnibit. Oh, yeah, page, check this out. Is it this one? And this is a really long joke, and I've actually forgotten most of the uh, history behind it, but it's a, it's a command. Or maybe it's this one. Right there. Yep. And, and oh, and the one that we were talking about. And, and glitch cam. Yeah, if you notice, I, I wasn't quite sure what to do with the piece. I knew I wanted to keep it as a big bar. I thought about making it just kind of a regular old run of the mill large bar but then I was like because mm, there's a bad spot in the back of it because originally it was just going to be this this uh, wait a minute is wait, where is it there yeah there it was just going to be that was going to be the side that you see the big smooth green surface area but then trying to cut the, the problems out of the back side it, it it had such a unique turn to it that it just added a lot of character to the gem so it adds a lot of flash in the right in the right light because one of the facets they're so different one of the facets will light up check this out this thing is so cool I know it looks like a brown gem but there's a little bit of red flare in there 
And once we get this thing going, all polished up nice, you're going to be like, oh, wow, I, I remember that. I saw that. Because it's going to be a huge feature. Oh, it's going to be such a big feature. It's such a cool piece. It's all red and stuff. Yeah, I just need to get it in better lighting and better polish. I need to finish it. That's what I need to do. Finish your gems, Jake. You got work to do, boy. Get to it. Get to it. Hop to chop chop. What's how, how's that saying go, Chris? We should actually have that set up, even though Chris isn't here. I should have it set up for a command to be like, because uh, we used to say that we were um, doing stuff, getting her done, taking care of business, and making it happen. Which reminds me, we're, we're like most of the way through the entire video that the stone has. <laughs> and I haven't even finished sharing the show, let alone the stones in the news portion. I was going to share the thing with Chris. And I still can because of reasons. Because he told me, he's like, hey, let me know when you're live. And I'm like... Okay, sure. Thanks for stopping by, man. Rock and roll. 9,000. Idiocracy is hilarious. Oh, there's so many lines. I like money. Which reminds me. Check this out. Mm. So, there's a little bit of story, too. I stopped by a store... And this is this is perfect time, so I don't forget to shout out to Vicky. And Vicky is the owner of Vicky's Rocks, Readings, and Books. Just off the avenue of the cities in Moline, and across the street, I mean directly across the street from True Value. She's a great gal. She, um, she sold me some gems. We talked for a while. She bought some plant food to put on her shelf. So if you want to check it out and you want to get some in person, you can go to her store. She's fantastic like that. But she she sold me a couple of stones. Like she sold me an aquamarine that's going to be a feature. And I don't remember if it's up by the sink or if I put it somewhere else. But it's not handy enough to show. However, there is a stone I am going to show you, Paige and other folks. That is right on topic, as it is a Peridot that she sold me. It was a little higher price than I'm used to paying for Peridot, but it was worth it because of the size. And if I can get it to show... Aw, oh, you camera. It has a dollar sign in it. It's not going to come through, though. This I'm, I'm going to get it on a picture. It actually, the way that it is, I have these these two face facets, and the, the way that it's structured on the back side, with the front, it looks, oh wow, you can even kind of see it there. It It's supposed to be the other way around, but it's like, it, you see the, the swirl of the dark? It's actually more profound and defined when it's on the front side, but it's it's so cool. I'm going to take a picture and it's going to be a feature because of how cool it is. It's it's a see that that how it's got the light green and then it's got that dark green triangle. Same thing on this side but the dark green triangles at the bottom so it makes it look like a dollar sign right in the middle of the gem. I like money. I object. I object that he's not going to have any money to pay me back for breaking my apartment after he pays back all the hospital money. And I object that he interrupted me when I was watching Now My Balls. Cheers to idiocracy. It's a, it's a testament. It's classic. <laughs> Paige, I remember that. I'm not going to make that a command. <laughs> Now, if I had one, I would. But yeah, that basically that was the. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. So uh, yeah. Oh, page decent. Mm -hmm. No, we haven't gotten there yet, Jeanette. 
Uh, it's like, well, let's see. I don't know actually, Paige, because um, when when I build a computer, I always look on Wikipedia, and since I'm an Intel chip buyer, you got two choices: Intel or AMD. Uh, I buy Intel chips. They're slower. They're they're not they're not pushed as hard. They're more of a reliable truck. And um, they cost. They they're proud of their products. Uh, but I usually go with an Intel, and um, I look on Wikipedia as well as the Intel Arc, and they will talk about the next step of technology that's coming out and when. So you can see if it's going to be like two months from now, or if it's going to be uh, you know like twelve months from now. And you can also see certain things, like for example, when I built the computer I have now. Uh, you know, I don't know how familiar you are, but let's say the RAM, they had just gone from DDR4 or D, uh, DDR3 to DDR4. Okay, so it was 3 to 4, and they had used DDR3 for, I don't know, 4 or 5 years, and only the best computers, like the one I was building, used the D, I had upgraded to the DDR4, and it's still trickling down, still. Still not everything has DDR4. It's getting there. Um, so uh, let's say, and it, it, I mean, it actually, it varies a lot too because people were mining those Bitcoins and so people were buying huge rigs like racks and putting them in their, their garage. And so the price of computer parts really spiked there for a while. But like right now, you can buy a solid state hard drive for thirty dollars so let's say that you're trying to go for the kind of the bargain basement but you still want it to perform the the question is how long do you want it to perform so let's say that you want to get three years out of it I well I don't know let's say five years uh, you might want to spend about six hundred dollars Let's let's say that okay. Let's say that you spend a hundred on the pros or well, if you want to get five years, let's say a hundred and fifty on the processor, one hundred on the motherboard, which is actually more than a, a bargain basement. Bargain basement like three four hundred dollars, but uh, you know you, you got two fifty there. Windows costs a hundred dollars. Now there's ways around that, but <clears throat> I always buy it. Uh, so that's uh, 350. <clears throat> then the case, let's say you want to buy a decent case, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. So you're at forty dollars, so uh, you're at three hundred ninety dollars. Then you're gonna need um, let's see this solid state drive, that's another so you're at uh, four hundred and twenty dollars. And you're gonna need a power supply. You don't need a CD ROM these days. So uh, power supply, you can get those for $25. So you're at uh, f almost $450, let's say $450. Um, that doesn't include the monitor, keyboard, mouse, or speakers, or anything like a printer or a, a you know a microphone. Boing. Um, so I mean, for the the basic rig, you're talking like. 450 uh, yeah we built my brothers and it was like five hundred and twelve dollars oh RAM that's what I forgot about okay that's what kicks it up a notch which RAM's coming down in price so I mean we're talking uh, yeah probably about five hundred dollars just talking about a little camera oh a decent computer cam <laughs> <laughs> a decent c cam okay I thought you were asking about building a new computer for yourself no dude my computer is all gravy that's what that's what's weird that's what's not the problem my computer is rocking I mean I can run like four versions of Skyrim special edition at the same time I built what's referred to as an enthusiast now it's the base model 
but it's an enthusiast computer. It's um, it's quite the rig, uh, and it's sturdy, good and sturdy. I I I don't even need to overclock it. What? I'm using uh, one, two, three, four of my twelve processor cores, and they're not they're not pegged or anything like that. They're just kind of tickling it. I thought you were talking about building a computer, man. I was like, all right, Paige, let's build you a computer. <laughs> oh, you're talking about a computer cam. Um, no, like I said, uh, I thought about getting that cheap one for $8.99. Uh, I got this one for $18. It's usually $25. Uh, they go upwards of freaking $60, $70. You know, you can pay $150. Uh yeah, I don't. That that's just the thing. It's like, how much money am I going to spend on the show? And so I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know. So I was like, I need to send Farah some better gems so that I can be like, all right, buy me a camera, because I'll feel bad if I'm just like, hey, buy me a camera, but I, I haven't got her enough gems. I got her a couple of gems, which, uh, yeah, yeah. I got a couple more gems. Actually, I wanted to send her some of this um, Imperial Topaz stuff. She really likes it. She likes a lot of nice gems in this Imperial Topaz. Man, I I think I'm going to have a few more beads to work with. I don't know for sure, but if I do, definitely going to send her some. Sorry, did I miss the... No, no, you did not miss. We're going to actually do that. I like ripping CDs. You know what, I, I, uh, I ripped some of that, uh, Jared Bonta music. He's great. He's, he does, um, he's got, I got a country CD, um, can't remember what it's called, and then I got a, a jazz CD, jazz, okay, the country C CD is called Mr. Jukebox, and the jazz CD is called Jazz Offerings to the Schnauzer King. Let's see, uh, actually, I'll play, I'll play just a little bit of... You tell me again, Mr. Jukebox, you're the only one who... Hope that's not too loud. ...the shape I'm in, sing it over and over, Mr. Jukebox. Yeah, that's, it's, it's a, it's a great disc. I'll play a quick jazz clip too if uh if you want to if you want to get some of that um contact me via email I'll, I'll i'll give you a drive link and here's some jazz now i gotta admit i'm a little partial to piano bar music just because i don't know i <laughs> i'm a country lifer but i like to vacation in the city Kind of neat to go and sit at a piano bar, order a steak, drink a whiskey. Well, only done it the one time, but that was fun. You know, it's good music. Upbeat music. I don't like too much slow music, but uh, anyway. That's the gist of... Um, let's see, where were we going? Yeah, CDs. What are CDs anymore, right? What are optical discs? What's that? Um, we haven't even done Stones in the News yet. Where was that piece I was on? Because I was... Sorry about that. A little extra with the noise. We'll just uh, kind of pick up where we left off there. And... I could build houses or anything made of metal, but I definitely can't build a computer. Oh, Paige, it is so... Dude. Plug and play these days, man. <laughs> I mean, it's... Paige... You could if you tried Home Slice because it, the, the, the real key to the computer is taking the time to learn the specs. Like I said, DDR3 is less than DDR4. You gotta, you gotta know which one it is. Is DDR3 better or is it worse? Well, it's worse. So... You know, <laughs> and uh, the, you know, there's a lot more involved. Like there's, there's uh, 
the pin sets and you know slot types and you want to make sure your motherboards optimized for your processor and optimized for your RAM and that's why I say I look it all up on uh, uh, Wikipedia as well as cross-reference it on um, the Intel Arc but I mean dude we could do all that in a matter of like four hours at the most and I mean co whole computer front to back just relaxingly four hour stream you know it, it seems like a long time but after that you'd be like dude <laughs> computer expert that's right cheese for short I like crooner's cheese it's very smooth just like the buttery voice of all those crooners in the 1950s Las Vegas no words were slow to come but they came to me your camera is having an ep epileptic fit and it's, it's leprosy is fitting it's good to know if I want to buy one yeah well that there you go yep he went so deep into it oh dude too deep far too deep <laughs> I was like on a ram and he was talking about a cam and then we're talking about Raspberry Jam because that sounds really good right now I could build something bulletproof for you to put a computer far out man that is awesome dude because that yeah my case is far from bulletproof that's uh, a dancer I can tell it who's a dancer I took salsa lessons once boy that was a an experience. This dude got, he was like 350 pounds and he was so tired and he wanted me to keep dancing with his wife. It's the weirdest thing. I can tell you more stories, but that's for another night. I gotta go see it. Bye, John. Cheers, man. I'll be sure and tell you the jokes over on the General's channel sometime next time I see you. And don't forget to remind me to give you your tanks. Thanks for stopping by. And, uh, oh, we're on this other little piece already. Yeah, this is actually, this is the piece that you saw me saw. Yep, you saw me saw off of the piece that I showed you and you saw. That's the thing. I actually said that. Stones in the news. Oh, uh, the Imperial Topaz. It's going to be a feature. So I was talking about this piece. This piece, you see that gold? Red? It's it's so bogus that it's not focusing, and it's gold and red, and it has yellows and and oranges, and it it's yeah. This is a little bead. It's pale because I haven't polished it yet. But this is topaz and it's beautiful topaz and it's just it's a little bead that I pushed and it's got inclusions in it but man the color on it and I'm gonna actually pair it with some blue appetite because I think the colors go real well yeah it doesn't it doesn't even come through properly on the screen but this is gonna be part of a feature coming up soon as well as Get ready for it. Because it's a little bigger than a bead. Bam! Yeah. So you saw the red and the yellow in the other one? We're going to try and bring it out of this guy. I've already pushed it a little bit. It's not all coming through there. That's the uh, stones in the news portion of the program. Let me see if I can show this a little bit better. Oh, I know. I'll go ahead and bust these out. Yeah. Link. What else did he? he want you to do with his wife oh my word touchy subject uh, let's see it is yes 
Uh, so here's a piece of that topaz that I've I've cleaned up. You can kind of see the orange and the red at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's 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 the the magic I'm talking about. Now that's cool, right? Let's check this one out. Little ring piece. It's golden in their hills. Okay, so that the fact that it's got that little clear spot in the middle and then it's gold around the outside. That's because I put 45s on the back and they don't go far enough to meet in the middle. So it, when I when I meet those 45s on the back, it'll make that disappear and the whole thing will just be shiny and a flare and it'll make a perfect little ring piece. It'll be great. Actually, this is Imperial Topaz and it has a crack in it. If it didn't have a crack in it, it'd be worth more. But it's still a really neat stone, so we're going to have a feature on it coming up in the next couple weeks. And that has been this week's Stones in the News portion of the program, which means it's right about time. Oh, I love this chip. This chip, it's sitting in the jewelry shop over at Kloss Jewelers. If you want to check it out, run on over to Kloss Jewelers in the village of East Davenport. She's great. Actually, that reminds me, we're going to have her on panel. Mm -hmm. Yep, she said that she would like to be on panel. Bunny the jeweler would like to join us on panel. She actually brought it up. So sometime we will have her on panel, and it will be after we have the... Wait a minute, I can do this. We're going to do this first. Do, 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 do. Boink. There we go. Now we'll do it like this. Because it's time for the joke portion of the program. And this week's joke portion of the program, I have jokes. You probably heard this one because I told it a couple of times. What do you call it when you give someone hot chocolate? A Swissmas present. Here's a video game joke. Apologies to those who don't know the reference. I used to be an adventurer, and then I took a pen to the knee. Now they call me Pen Knee. Okay, shout out to uh, Koga. Yes, he told me this joke. What kind of car does Jesus drive? A Chrysler. What do you call it when you have a lunch break during a, a Twitch stream? Yeah, I should, I should write that a little better. What do you call it when you take a lunch break while streaming on Twitch? A Sans Twitch. I think I think I'm stuck in a funk where I keep writing bad jokes on purpose. I'm going to try and get out of that. I've been trying to work my way out of purposely I think I'm purposely writing just really horrible jokes like this one. Don't walk through a government for don't don't throw walk and I got to talk. Don't walk through the government. No, I I still I said it wrong. Don't walk through the forest of government. You might end up with politics. Didn't we tell that joke already? And then, what is the sound of a government watch? Politic talk. Politic talk. Or wait a minute. Was it? Wasn't it the second one, Jeanette? It was. Um, what? What is the sound of a government watch? Politic politic. Politic politic. Or politic talk. I don't remember. One of those. And the last one. Why didn't people know it was a nun who did the good deed? Because she did it out of habit. That's what I got for this week's joke portion of the program. 
Thank you for joining us for the joke portion of the program. Y'all are bringing fantastic 9,000. Ooh, that's too loud. I gotta learn how to do this in a certain order. We're gonna get there. Is it that one? Yeah, it's about that one. There we are. Doing it. Doing things. Getting her done. Taking care of business and making it happen. The last one was great. Nice. Ouch. <laughs> you guys are fantastic. Beautiful pairing. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thanks for putting up with the joke portion of the program. Do, 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 Oh, wow. The slideshow is different. Isn't it? Or is it? I don't know. I think it might be a little slower, but we'll do that next week. Awesome. I, I hope you guys enjoy it, because I'm trying to make it a treat. I want it to be a treat, and it's like in somewhere in the middle of the show, you mine out the joke portion, and it's like a break, and I want more of that. That's why I have stones in the news. I wish I had more, like, newsworthy stone news and I guess I'm not a very good reporter all I do is search and so I was like well we could have stone prices or we could have you know just various information about stones that I learned um, and so that's kind of what the stones and then it's like stones in or or learning about stones or something you know whatever stones in the news so that's kind of kind of what I'm doing with the stones in the news portion. Let's see if we can find that little adventuring piece. I need to find the first video for it so you guys can see me cut this purse. But this this is a piece of adventuring that was so small I almost cut, I almost just ground it off. I almost ground it off and I decided to saw it. Now look at it. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Glad I didn't grind it in plant food. Let's save that little guy. It's in here somewhere. I got it. It's a tiny little piece. I don't remember what I did with it. What I did with it. So anyway, yeah, the I I mean the stones in the news was kind of an upcoming features thing, but the fact is that having that that imperial topaz, man, that is so freaking awesome. Imperial Topaz is the rare Topaz. This is also Imperial Topaz, so you'll see me shape this one, and you'll you'll see be a better picture of it. Hey, Jake the Gaming Wolf's here. Cheers. And we're going to have to feature some of this new citrine I got. Man, isn't that stuff beautiful? Blink, 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 blink. But it's not in there. It's probably in another box. Did I already get rid of it? No. There it is. Which reminds me, I can show you another piece that I might, should, could, probably ought to roll a video for. Bam! There's a big chunk. Yeah, big old chunk, chunk. Hork, nork. Nice and smooth. See, the problem is, typically with adventuring, it's got cracks in it. It'll show a crack, or it'll, you know, like there'll be a crack or something. I Let's see if I can, on the back side. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's not polished up enough to show, but it's got like a, it's got like a crack down here. That, that white line. Yeah. But this side, 100% gravy. Nice, even, smooth beauty. Looks factory made. And that's cool having the crack in the back because it shows it's natural. Here's how small that piece is. It's little. It's a little piece. But it's there. And I'm glad I saved it. Because now I can turn it into a little ring piece or something. Nice little unique piece. Hey, wow, were you here earlier, Jake, or did you just happen to, uh, happen to enter that? Because we made that command like like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, that's the upcoming features part of the show. 
So I am actually going to do the shoutouts portion and send y'all back off into YouTube land with some love. And thank you for coming by, hanging out, saying hello, chatting with me, asking questions. Hey, Chris the Wolf is here. Chris the Phenomenon is here. The wolves were making sound for Chris the Phenomenon. Yes, Chris the Phenomenal Wolf Phenomenon. Phenomenon. Do 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 do. Phenomenon. Do 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 do. Phenomenon. Do 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 Okay, so we are at a point in the game. Except for it's not a game. Oh, wow, that always throws me off. Always throws me off. When I talk on the video, yeah, it always throws me off. I'm like, wait, am I getting feedback? But yeah, I will actually talk to myself while I cut stones. I'll let this uh, garnet roll while I shout out. Shout out around the town. And to do the shout out portion, we have to highlight. Oh, hey, Jeanette, this might actually show your garnet that I... I think that's it. The piece I sent you? Yep, there it is. There it is. There it is right there. <laughs> Shrink that down. Slide it on over. Move it on over. Big bad dogs are moving in. Here. Sloink. Alright, that looks pretty good. Okay. So. Where were we now? 52 minutes. Hey, we're not bad. We're, we're hitting them the show right on the nose. Okay, where were we for the... Uh, Shout, shout outs portion. Okay, that'll work. We'll just use this. Aha! Okay, Gromies came by, dropped a comment. Oh, yeah, Gro so Gromies has been going live lately, and he's been like, he's, he's funny. You just, you like, you gotta go, you gotta go check out his lives. So shout out to Gromies homies for coming by and being awesome, and, uh, uh, doing some live streams, so check out his lives and make sure you ring his bell. Not, the, I mean the you know the subscription bell. You know what I'm talking about. You know. And cheers to John Cochran. It's fantastic. Him and his Morty stamp. Is that Rick? No, that's Rick, right? Morty or Mick or is it Rorty? That's not a name. Anyway. Cheers to John. That's a name and a great one. And Paige Farms. Paige Farms is here. We here we go. There we go. It's about time. Yeah. Why, why isn't Paige a moderator? Sheesh. Thinking, etc. And cheers to Paige. And cheers to his farm equipment. Oh wow, he's got some stuff. It's like it's like it doesn't show that it's posted. And yeah, we gotta do that. Um yeah, so we gotta check out some, oh wow. <laughs> oh man. I love beef. I love cows too, they're fantastic. Just kinda magical. You turn something something I don't really something something I I throw out of the end 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 of my lawnmower. They turn that into steak. Tartar. Which reminds me, we uh, we were doing something. I got a little distracted when I thought of beef. So tasty. And cheers to Jeanette. She's fantastic. Hey, she's almost at 400. Yeah, if you got any troll accounts, use them to subscribe to Jeanette. Get her over 400. She's great. She deserves it. We're going to get her there. Just... Just with no content, she'll have 400. I should change my name to a girl's name. I'd get more subscribers. 
That'd be cheating. And so, um, trying to make sure I didn't miss anyone in their awesomeness. Jake the Gaming Wolf came by the show, and he's been playing that game. It's called Slither, which is totally unique. It's like, okay, so here's an example of it. The, okay, this thing eats the little dots, and it grows to this size. And you, you can't run into another one, otherwise you die, and you got to start over. And so you got to turn and get out of the way. And yeah, here's here's that's yeah. See how long that is? That's a huge one. Well done. And just want to make sure I shout out everyone who's fantastic. So I got to make sure I don't miss out on Chris, the phenomenon, and his phenomenal activity. Delicious steak time, dude. Yeah. And didn't didn't you uh you cook some eggs and biscuits the other day, man? Awesome. Deliciousness nine thousand. Bless you, bless you all. You are all sweet. You are all fantastic. You are all wonderful. And I love you. And I appreciate you. And I'm gonna see you next week and every week at eleven PM Eastern. Thank you so much for coming by the show. Have a great week.